What's going on, guys? This is Barker, back with another NBA video talking about the NBA. And today, I'm talking about the situation with the Washington Wizards. They started off as the first seed in the beginning of the season and have fallen down all the way to the 11th seed in the East. That is absolutely terrible. They're not even in the play-in tournament picture right now. That's just terrible with all the talent this team has. Kyle Kuzma has looked like a near all-star. Bradley Beal obviously looks like an all-star. Spencer Dinwiddie, even though he's a shell of what he used to be, he's still a good player. Montrezl Harrell looks like a six-man-of-the-year candidate. KCP plays his role perfectly. This team should be way better than what they're doing right now. And there's a lot of internal problems that are causing this situation. And that's what frustrates me the most. Is It's not really the fact of they're just not a good enough team. They're very talented. And they have the tools. And the coach is not a bad coach. Even though it's his first year as the head coach of the Washington Wizards. Which I hate that he might get blamed for or potentially get fired. Because of the players playing like shit. At the end of the day. You know... There's so many rumors about the team not liking Spencer Dinwiddie, not listening to his leadership, and Bradley Beal butting heads with Spencer Dinwiddie, which I, I just don't understand with Bradley Beal. Does he just hate point guards? Because when John Wall played on the Wizards, there was constant reports saying that Bradley Beal and John Wall hated each other and would always butt heads and would basically want the other to be traded. Now... You know, they got rid of John Wall, and then they get Spencer Dinwiddie, who seems like a very nice dude. Like a very calm, collected, nice dude. And somehow, still, Bradley Beal is butting heads and hating Spencer Dinwiddie and wants him to be traded. Does, is Bradley Beal the problem? Does he just hate fucking point guards? Does he just want the ball 24-7? I don't understand. Does Bradley Beal want to be a point guard? I don't understand his problems with point guards. I just don't get it. Because John Wall and Spencer Dinwiddie are great players. Obviously, Spencer Dinwiddie has taken a step back, but he's coming from, you know, he's coming back from a major injury. You can't expect him to go straight back to the 20-point-per-game guy he was in Brooklyn. And he was more of a main offensive focal point on Brooklyn. Not the situation with Washington. Because he is not even the third option on the team. Kyle Kuzma is the second option on the Washington Wizards, and he's looked great. And the situation with Montrez Harrell and KCP. They had a fight on the bench with each other. What the hell is going on? Why are you fighting your own goddamn teammate, Montrez? It, it just seems like a shit fire is happening. You know, reports of Bradley Beal talking shit about the team. Spencer Dinwiddie talking about shit about the team in interviews. This team is on the path of basically blowing up completely. I expect a lot of these players to be traded either before the trade deadline or in the offseason. I do not expect Spencer Dinwiddie to be on this team after the trade deadline. If he is, I will be very shocked based on the multiple reports saying that the team fucking hates him. You know, in 11 seed, I believe off the top of my head, they're like 23 and 27. They're worse than the Lakers. That says something. Uh, but not by much, which is also crazy, because obviously the Lakers and Wizards made that major trade for Westbrook. And they're basically at the same standings. Uh, Bradley Beal could potentially also be out the door, which is scary for the Washington Wizards, because a guy who was a four-lifer, who, you know, the Wizards expected to never leave, is actually debating leaving, which is a big major problem for the Washington Wizards, because if Bradley Beal leaves... The Wizards are most likely going to go towards a full rebuild. Because Bradley Beal is the Wizards. He is the face of the Wizards after you got rid of John Wall and Westbrook. He is the face of the Wizards. He's been there his entire career. And you could lose him because the team you put together for him is not working whatsoever. I expect Montrez Harrell to also be traded. His contract's about to be ending. They have three amazing centers, so I expect them to get rid of Montrez and keep Thomas Bryant, who's been on the team a lot longer and can shoot three-pointers. Uh, like I said, I like the Washington Wizards coach. It's just a shit situation he got put into, kind of like Steven Silas on the Rockets. I don't think Steven Silas is a terrible coach. I just think, look at the pieces he has. Like, you can't expect him to be a playoff team with what they have and how the players are. Let me know what you guys think about the Washington Wizards. 
do they just blow it up? Do the Wizards just say fuck it and just completely go to full rebuild? Or do they just keep trying to switch the pieces and try to make Bradley Beal happy and get some more competitive players that can actually help them make a playoff push? Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I make NBA videos all the time. And I'm not stopping anytime soon. Road to 400. Peace.